I'm sitting up in the front room that is still not done. It's more done than it has been. He's got some sheetrock hung in here. And when he left today, he said, oh, I'm going to have that room finished by the end of the weekend. He's a lie. He's a lie. He's a lie. He's a lie. Y'all know that. I know that. Y'all know that. Um, I'm trying. I'm, I've been debating, y'all. You know, like in the months leading up to Christmas, I was so excited about decorating for Christmas. But the closer it has gotten in this room, like not just this room, but like, I don't know about y'all, but when like we work on the house, the rest of the house feels like upside down because, you know, furniture is stacked everywhere. There's tools stacked everywhere. It's just a mess. And so I have I, I lost my, my mood for decorating for Christmas. So I still haven't made my mind up if I'm going to. But um, I know if y'all have followed me, oh, I was moving my bracelet. Y'all, this Cameron gave me this bracelet for my birthday. This is bad. It says badass in Morse code. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I love it. I love that she does stuff like that for me because she gets me. And uh, yeah, because she's a badass herself. She's amazing. Amazing. She's sitting on the table, so I'm sorry. She's shaking the camera. But guys, I if you follow me for very long, you know that like when I first kind of started my channel, I did all my, I recorded my videos in my little pink bedroom back there. And over time, ma'am, what you doing? Yeah, just lay down. Just lay down. You want it up there. You've been laying completely still up until now. Why you got to move now? She's laying here flopping her tail. You want to sit with me? Come here. Sit with me. Yeah, look. Look at my baby, y'all. Oh, she's so sweet. Um, what was I saying? Oh, my little pink room back there. Um, well, over the last, I don't know how long, year, two years, I don't know. We, would you like to sit on my head? How about that? How about that? Would you like to get on top of Granny's head? I mean, why not, huh? Um, we have been, do you want down? I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want. We have used that room back there as a storage room. You know how like a few things get put in there and you think, oh, I'm going to clean that out. And you don't clean it out. And then like a few more things get put in there. And before, you know, I knew it, it was literally, and I should have took a picture, but I didn't. It was literally stacked up to the ceiling. A lot of it was mine, y'all, because I'm that lady that I save every box because I know Christmas will come and you always need boxes, you know, at Christmas time. So I save all my box, literally all my boxes. So it was a it was a ton of boxes, um, some furniture that like I'm not using in the house, but I don't want to get rid of um, stuff like that. So it was just stacked to the ceiling, full of stuff. Well, I want I do my um, I have a tree that's just old blown glass ornaments, and I want it. That's that's where I put them because you know they are they're real delicate and pretty and so they just suit that room really well and I thought you know what I want to put that tree up I haven't put that tree up in a long time so I got in there y'all and I cleaned my room up well um it took me like I cleaned it all up in in a day and then the next day like I cleaned like I vacuumed and dusted and all that which was yesterday now let me tell you what went on now okay let me back up first we went to uh Houston to Cameron's for Thanksgiving. We had a great time. I'll stick in like a few little clips that we did of that. Y'all, who else is like us? We were supposed to be on the road. No, we said we was going to be on the road. Well, you said 12, but I live with Dan. I knew 12 was not going to happen. So, it is 1242. We're on the road. I, I, look, I didn't, I'm so tired. 
of packing and getting crap together and cooking. And in all fairness though, I cooked 20 pans of cake yesterday. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, Callie over here is in my stash. I brought my fingernails because I want to do my fingernails while I'm on the road. I brought some fabric. I want to make Callie a little bandana to tie around her neck for pictures tomorrow, but we could sneak on the road to Houston. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Yep. You ready, Dan? I'm ready. Look at me, y'all. You gotta holler at Dan. He's like an old man. You just gotta holler at him. And he may or may not answer. <laughs> All right, here we go, y'all. trying to get on to 45 would you look for as far as you can see clay put your thing up please thank you look at that y'all what is going on oh my gosh <laughs> I know I didn't post a video last week because oh, oh I know and I did a wedding cake I'll stick some pictures in here of that or some clips or whatever of that <laughs> so yeah it's been, it was busy. I, you know, had to get ready, you know, for Thanksgiving, you know, that we cook, you know, all the food and then we drove down there, which is like a five hour, uh, drive down, a five hour drive back, you know, it's just, it was busy. And then I literally we came back that Friday and I literally walked in the door, um, got Dan, like, he got out of the car, Clay and I got back in the car, went to Walmart, got all my cake supplies together, came back, and I worked on the cake that night until I was exhausted because the wedding was the next day. So, then I got up the next day still working on the cake. So, I just, I was just too tired uh, to do the video thing. And I didn't really have any footage because, like, I had been busy and I, I didn't film it. I'm gonna have to get better about, like, kind of doing a little bit of both because, like, you know, once I get on on a track going, then I don't think about picking the camera up to film. So, I think that's all we did, all the catching up I need to do. So, now, back to my pink room. Y'all, for the last couple of years, I'm not even sure. I feel like I got something in my teeth, y'all. For the last couple of years, I have this little, it's a heart-shaped little metal tin a uh, box, a fossil watch came in it. Well, that's what I have some jewelry in that it's the only jewelry that like means a lot to me. And I had put it up so that I didn't lose it. Well, I couldn't find it. I, I've looked for it. Or I've called myself looking for it for a couple of years. And I mean like a couple of different times I tore this house apart. Because I was like, if I lose that, I'm going to be devastated. 
but I couldn't find it. But I was like, but I know it's got to be in this house. I've not done anything else with it. And I know nobody else has done anything with it. I mean, or I couldn't imagine that anybody else had done anything with it. So, I get my little pink room cleaned up. I'm all excited. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's looking good. Got everything all dusted. And this is how I know, like, the little cabinet that's in there, I had, it's got a little pink picture jug, whatever you call it, and a dolly on it. Well, I had picked the jug up and picked the dolly up and laid that over uh, on the bed. I took my wet rag and I wiped the little uh, cabinet down all the way down the front, the whole nine yards. I took the dolly and, and hit it on my leg like that to, to dust it, you know. I laid it back down and then I put the little pink jug, I wiped the little pink jug down and put the jug back on there. I just had done that. So, um, I was, and I had like been working, you know, piddling all the day, all day. So I went and was laying on the bed. Well, I was texting my BFF and we were talking and I went, I know, let me just go film uh, my little pink room, getting it all put back together and show my friend. So I go over there and I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick the clip in here so you can hear, but, um, I'm filming my clip for Lisa and, you know, I'm panning in the room and I was like, oh, I need to put the little dust ruffle, like not dust ruffle, but the little ruffle on the front of my chair was flipped up. I needed, I said, oh, and I need to flip that back down. And I was talking about how I still needed to steam clean the carpet. And uh, all of a sudden you hear me, like I say, what is that over there? Cause I knew I just dusted that little table. So I knew I had not left anything on it. And that's what caught my eye. So I was like, I said, what is that? And then I recognized it. It was the little heart-shaped tin that has the jewelry in it. Y'all, I was like, oh, what? Y'all, that it just appeared out of nowhere. I got my little pink room all cleaned up. My little chair thing needs to be flipped back down. But uh, I got my little pink room all cleaned back up. I still gotta clean the carpet, but being as it was stacked to the ceiling with crap. What's that over there? Oh, no, what? So I am like literally like got throw up in my throat. I'm like, what? I'm here by myself. There's nobody else in this house but me. Where the hell did that come from? Y'all, I was, I'm not even lying. I Like I was, I got on the phone with Lisa. I'm like, Lisa, oh my God, what? TF. <laughs> Y'all, so I'm talking to her. I call Clay and I go, Clay, have you and dad been here any today? I knew they hadn't. I mean, I've been here all day. No. I said, are you sure? Yes. I said, and y'all didn't just come in, like come through, you know, no, ma'am. I said, okay, I'll talk to you when you get here. Cause he said they were on their way. Well, when he hung up, he said, he told his daddy, Ooh, mama's mad. Uh, I wasn't mad. I was just like <gasps> alarmed, you know, so they came in and I said, did y'all put that there? I mean, did, where did this come from? Cause see, and that's what I didn't say. About two days, it was like a day before. So not yesterday, but the day before Dan and I, you know, we get up early in the morning and we were just, you know, talking while he was drinking his coffee. And I had said for, I don't even know where it came from. I said, you know, that little red heart tin that I keep my, used to keep my jewelry in. You know, I hadn't been able to find that in like a few years. I have no idea where that is. And I've turned this house upside down. So it was weird. Like I've never, I had never said anything to anybody about that at all. And, but, and the one time I did speak it out loud the next day, it just appeared on a table. I know I just dusted and like it because i'm like i can't remember going like this to the dolly and hitting it on my leg so i was like oh my god and so i messaged cameron cameron has always said there's a ghost in this house and uh and i didn't make fun of her but you know I'm, i i don't know how i feel about ghosts to be honest but i was like yeah 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 so you know you think there's a ghost that's cute you know i didn't not believe her and i don't believe her not that i this is going to sound crazy. I'm not saying she's not telling the truth. I'm just going, I don't know how I feel about ghosts. She swears there's a lady. She said there's a lady, and I'm sitting here by the fireplace. And, she's all, and she has said that for years. There's an old lady in the fireplace. And uh, speaking of, I don't know where. I'll stick a picture in. I'll stick a picture in here of it. 
when Dan took the fireplace off the wall recently, we found a little toy and nobody, not my kids don't, they're like, I have no idea what that is. I don't know what it is either. It's a plastic toy, so I don't think it's old. Uh, I have no idea how it got back there because um, like when we bought the house, that wall was sheet rocked over. They had closed up the fireplace and had hired somebody, a bee man had to come in and he got five pounds of bees out of that wall. So we tore it back open to make it a fireplace. So it wasn't there when we tore it open to put the fireplace in, but when he tore the fireplace out, there was this old plastic toy in there. And then, so then Cameron was like, Ma, I told you, I told you, I told you there's ghosts there. So anyway, I am literally beside myself yesterday. Like, y'all was like, I didn't know if I needed to run. I didn't know if I needed to go get some sage and burn it in the house. I didn't know. I was like, what? What am I going to do? So, um, I messaged Nicole. She had been here. She and Tyler had been here just for a little while yesterday. But I was sure I had, uh, they had left and I dusted after they left. So I thought, ma'am, what did, what's the matter? Why are you crying? Let me film this little bit and then I'll go lay in the bed with you for a minute. Please don't be like a little kid and, and be bad just because mama's tied up on the phone. Let me get my story over with. Anyway, why did it pop up like the day after I spoke about it and all of a sudden it appeared, y'all, do I have a ghost? Do we need to film? Do we need to set cameras up and catch this heifer? There's been things through the years where we've been like, what? There's been noises we could not explain. Y'all, what do we do? What do we do? Tell me, what do we do about this ghost? That's all I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stop it here, go mess with my baby so she won't cry, and I'll talk, I'll, we'll pick this back up in the next video. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.